Traveling billions of miles into space is no easy feat, typically reserved for spacecraft. NASA's Voyager 1 has been a stalwart explorer, venturing deep into the cosmos. However, recent transmissions from its location, an astounding 23 billion kilometers away, have puzzled scientists. Are these signals a glitch in Voyager 1's system, or is it faithfully executing its mission, perhaps sending crucial warning signals back to Earth? Join us as we delve into the events of the last few minutes, where Voyager 1 turned back and made a startling discovery. Join us the cosmic inquiries three minutes ago Voyager 1 just turned back and made a terrifying discovery. In the realm of space exploration, modern humans have surpassed the wildest dreams of our ancestors. For millennia, humans gazed at the moon, never imagining the possibility of setting foot on it. Thanks to incredible inventions and the tireless efforts of brilliant scientists and engineers, achievements once thought impossible are now within our grasp. Organizations like SpaceX and NASA are pushing boundaries, with missions targeting Mars and propelling us further into space. While the objectives of these missions may vary, landing on Mars represents a crucial moment, expanding our reach into deep space. Yet, inherent limitations exist for human space travelers. The vastness of the universe beckons exploration, but many endeavors would take us billions of miles away from our comfortable abode, Earth. This is where space probes, like Voyager 1, play a pivotal role, serving as our eyes in places beyond our technological reach. Launched over four decades ago, Voyager 1 stands as a timeless observer in the vastness of space. Alongside its counterpart, Voyager 2, these missions serve as historical capsules, encapsulating the essence of their era and captivating the public's imagination. Voyager 1 proudly holds the title of the first spacecraft to leave the solar system and venture into interstellar space. Launched in September 1977, Voyager 1 now roams more than 14.6 billion miles away from Earth, zooming through space at an impressive speed of 38,000 miles per hour. The significance of Voyager 1 endures even 45 years after embarking on its mission, continuously transmitting data about its journeys back to Earth. A landmark moment occurred in August 2012 when Voyager 1 entered interstellar space, marking a groundbreaking discovery that was revealed in 2013. One of Voyager 1's remarkable features is the golden record it carries, designed to convey voices and music from Earth into space. This unique artifact, created by a committee led by astronomer Carl Sagan, is stored in gold-plated copper discs engraved like vinyl record albums. The disc contains greetings in 55 languages, nature sounds, and a star map depicting Earth's location in the cosmic expanse. If these discs are ever played by extraterrestrial beings, they would be treated to diverse traditional music from various cultures, classical hits, and even Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good and a jazz number by Louis Armstrong. Despite concerns that hostile aliens might find a map leading them directly to Earth, the Voyager probes are expected to spend tens of thousands of years in interstellar space before reaching another star. The durability of the Voyagers is a fascinating aspect. Even after ceasing to work or transmit, they will outlast us due to the lack of corrosion in space's atmosphere and minimal collision risk in interstellar space. One of Voyager 1's notable accomplishments was the Grand Tour, made possible by a rare alignment of the outer planets that occurs once every 176 years. This alignment allowed the spacecraft to navigate from one planet to the next using slingshot maneuvers, maximizing fuel efficiency. Despite budgetary limitations forcing a scale-down of initial plans, Voyager 2 completed flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 1, staying close to Jupiter and Saturn, faced a significant setback during its launch but overcame it, providing Earth with initial glimpses of Jupiter in 1978. Subsequent breakthroughs included the discovery of a ring around Jupiter and the identification of two new moons. As Voyager 1 redirected towards Saturn, it unveiled the mysteries of the ringed planet, capturing images of the ethereal F-ring and discovering new moons like Prometheus and Pandora. The spacecraft also encountered Titan, Saturn's second-largest moon, sparking years of speculation about its composition. In March 1979, Voyager 1 executed its closest approach to Jupiter, capturing detailed images of its moons, including Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. These images revealed active worlds with dynamic features, 
adding to our understanding of Jupiter's moons as more than just passive satellites. Continuing its journey, Voyager 1 provided close-up images of Saturn, revealing unexpected phenomena like the F-ring and capturing images of various moons, including Atlas and the G-ring. The spacecraft's observations of Titan, with revelations about its hazy atmosphere, added to the mysteries of Saturn's moons. While the world has evolved since the 1970s, with new music genres and cultural shifts, the Voyager mission stands as a representation of our cultural heritage, cleverly encapsulated in space. The potential for extraterrestrial beings to discover and interpret the golden record adds an intriguing layer to Voyager's legacy. As the Voyagers endure in the universe, their journey serves as a testament to human innovation and exploration, reaching far beyond the boundaries of our solar system. Voyager 1's primary mission concluded with its encounter with Saturn, but retirement was not in its future. Instead, its focus shifted to tracking the 1,590-pound spacecraft as it accelerated toward interstellar space. Two decades before this pivotal moment, in February 1990, Voyager 1 etched a significant moment in space exploration history. It redirected its gaze towards Earth capturing an enduring image of our home planet from a staggering distance of 3.7 billion miles. At this astronomical range, Earth appeared as a tiny speck illuminated by a slender beam of sunlight. On this remarkable day, Voyager 1 also snapped numerous additional photographs, creating a compelling family portrait of the solar system, including five other planets and the Sun. The most memorable image in this compilation, often referred to as the pale blue dot, stands as a poignant testament to Earth's role as a small sanctuary of life in the vastness of the universe. In August 2012, Voyager 1 achieved another extraordinary milestone by journeying beyond the heliosphere, a broad envelope of charged particles radiating from the Sun. This groundbreaking discovery, widely known the following year, was made when Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument detected a potent solar eruption between April 9 and May 22, 2013. Electrons near Voyager 1 vibrated in response to this eruption, leading researchers to conclude that the spacecraft had entered a higher density region than just inside the heliosphere. While it might seem counterintuitive that electron density is greater in interstellar space than in the Sun's vicinity, researchers clarified that the electron density at the heliosphere edge is significantly lower than at Earth's surface. Voyager 1's official departure date was pinpointed as August 25, 2012 based not only on electron oscillations, but also on measurements of charged solar particles collected by the spacecraft on that significant day. Coincidentally, it was the day when renowned Apollo 11 astronaut Neil Armstrong passed away. On this pivotal date, Voyager 1 detected a remarkable 1,000-fold decrease in solar particles, and a 9% increase in galactic cosmic rays originating from outside the solar system. Voyager 1 found itself at a staggering distance of 11.25 billion miles from the Sun. NASA's Planetary Science Division methodically explores the solar system through a sequence of actions, flyby, orbit, land, rove, and return samples. The Voyager missions, acting as the vanguard and architects of this paradigm, have paved the way for subsequent exploration. Flyby missions, a key element of the planetary science paradigm, involve using gravity assist, utilizing a planet's or another celestial object's mass to alter the speed and trajectory of a spacecraft. Voyager 2 skillfully utilized gravity assist to traverse the realms of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, setting the stage for future missions. This groundbreaking technique laid the groundwork for upcoming missions, empowering subsequent probes to navigate efficiently and economize on fuel. Many missions, like New Horizons en route to Pluto and Osiris-Rex on its way to asteroid 101955 Bennu, strategically received gravity assists to expedite their journeys. Additionally, the Voyager missions contributed to memory management, despite having limited programmable memory. This resource proved invaluable, continually reproposed for optimal use. Beyond their technological legacy, the Voyagers pioneered the trajectory for future planetary exploration offering insights into the ice giants and their moons. Despite utilizing relatively rudimentary instruments, the voyagers sparked more questions than answered, highlighting the vastness of our knowledge gaps and prompting advancements in subsequent missions. The voyagers also paved the way for various NASA missions, including Galileo and Juno's expeditions to Jupiter and the Cassini mission to Saturn, 
all benefiting from gravity assistance. Voyager 1's revelations about the solar system's periphery, often called the edge of the sun, contribute to our understanding of the heliosphere. This protective bubble shields us from space radiation and extends up to four times the distance of Neptune. Space radiation, including galactic cosmic rays, GCR, presents various purposes, from warning systems to medical imaging. On Earth, three layers of protection, the heliosphere, Earth's magnetic field, and the atmosphere, guard against space radiation. However, astronauts embarking on journeys to the Moon or Mars won't have the same layered protection. They will rely solely on the fluctuating heliosphere, which changes in size over the Sun's 11-year cycle. The heliosphere, consisting of four main components, collaborates with the interstellar boundary explorer, IBEX, to study its structure. IBEX, a compact satellite launched in 2008, observes the outer boundary of the heliosphere and provides valuable information about its dynamics. The discoveries made by IBEX, coupled with data from Voyager 1 and 2, revealed significant changes in the heliopause, the boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space. Voyager 1 also detected a peculiar hum originating from outside the solar system, a phenomenon discovered by Stella Koch, a Cornell University doctoral student. This droning sound, identified in Voyager's plasma wave system data, remains a mystery but offers potential insights into interstellar space and heliosphere interaction. Despite Voyager 1's recent challenge to NASA regarding its attitude articulation and control system, AACS, the spacecraft continues to receive and execute commands from Earth. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, expressed confidence in the team's ability to address any issues that may arise. The spacecraft, nearly 45 years old, faces unique challenges but remains committed to contributing scientifically until its eventual end. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.